In this video, you're going to learn how to lead the song from the inside out by Hillsong with just you and an acoustic guitar. Coming up. Welcome to Advanced Worship Guitar Tutorials. My name is Spencer Cormany from LeadingWorshipWell.com, and in this video, we're taking a look at the song from the inside out by Hillsong. If you haven't checked out the cover that I put out of this song yet, you can check it out right here. That's gonna show you the arrangement that you're learning in this video. Also, something new, if you wanna take your guitar playing to the next level, one of the ways you do that is by learning these chord shapes, these advanced guitar chord shapes, which I'm gonna show you all throughout this song, but I put together a free resource for you. It's called 25 advanced guitar chords. It's a PDF where I show you a bunch of different guitar chords that you can substitute for your standard G, C, D, E minor chord, stuff like that, and it'll take your guitar playing to the next level. So if you want that, hit the link in the description below and you can get it for free. Other than that, let's get into the song. Here we are in the intro of the song and it's just based around three chords. So I'll show you the chords first and then I'll show you the lead line. So we're gonna start with this C, then go to a G, to a D. So those are just standard chords, but what we're going to do with those is we're going to add a lead line on top of it. So that tab for that is going to be right here. I'll play through it slowly and then we'll play through it all together normal speed. So it sounds like this slowly. So that's slowly, let's play at normal speed. It sounds like this. We're gonna use this later in the song too, so make sure you learn this. That's the intro, let's move into verse one. Here we are in verse one, and there's kind of like, it just kind of all runs together. So I'm not really sure what's verse one, what's the pre-chorus, what's the chorus. I'm just gonna play through all these different parts together. I'll show you the chords ahead of time, and then I'll just play through it. So the chords, of course, will be right here. We're gonna use a C chord like this, down to a G, up to a D. So that's gonna be like through the verse one part, and then we're gonna switch to this E minor, back to the C, Back to the G, back to the D, and then in my heart, in my soul, we're going to switch to these chords, C, to a G, to an E minor, to a D, back to the C, now we're going to go to this E minor, up to a D, and then this A minor. So that's a lot of chords. This is what it sounds like in context, starting in verse one and going to whatever you want to call these parts. A thousand times I've failed, still your mercy remains. Should I stumble again, still I'm caught in your grace, everlasting. Your light will shine when all else fades, never ending. Your glory goes beyond all fame In my heart and my soul I give you control So consume me from the inside out Lord, D suspended in there Let justice and praise Become my embrace To love you from the inside out. into the next part. From there, you'll go back into the intro instrumental part and then into the verse and you just play those the same exact way, just with a little more dynamic. So I won't show you that again. Let's head into the chorus and I'll be coming out of that to love you from the inside out. And then the chords will be right here. They're kind of standard chords. If you followed along with my other tutorials before then you know them if not just watch this part a couple times and you'll get it but looks like this from the inside out everlasting your light will shine when all else fades never ending your glory goes beyond all fame and the cry of my heart is to bring 
praise from the inside out of my soul cries out into the instrumental. Here we are in the instrumental, and once again, we're gonna use some chords, but then we're gonna add fancy stuff on top of that. So I'll show you the chord shapes first. This, this kind of comes in two parts, so I'll show you the chords for both parts, and then I'll add the fancy stuff on top of it. So we're gonna play a C like this. Then get ready to stretch your fingers out. Get ready, because we're going to a G, to an E minor, to a D. So that's the first half. We're gonna basically play the same thing in the second half apart from the D. So here's the C, go back to this G, go to the E minor, and now we're gonna to go to this D right here. So just two fingers. I know I have the chord shape, it shows like this, but we're gonna play it like this because that's what we need for the lead line. So let's move to those lead lines now because this is like the solo section of the song. And I'll put the tab for it right here. Um, I'm not going to tab out every single strum, but you'll see the chord shapes and it'll be enough to follow along. So I'm going to play this slowly, watch it a couple times if you need to, and it sounds like this. I'll play the first half first and then we'll pause. Mm -hmm. That's the first half. Now here's the second half. Basically the same thing again. Here's the difference. And that'll lead back into the quiet bridge or whatever it is. So all together that solo sounds like this normal speed. to the outro, the final part of the song. Here we are in the outro of the song, and we just came from that because we're gonna hit this C chord right here. And this is the in my heart and my soul. You can take the song wherever you want at the end, but this is where I did it in the cover. So we're gonna play this C down to the G, to an E minor, to a D. So basically just this C is the new chord in this part, and the outro sounds like this. In my heart and my soul, I give you control. Consume me from the inside out, Lord. Let justice and praise become my embrace. To love you from the inside out. We'll just hang on this A. Eh? kind of let it float at the end do some jazz fingers and that's the end congratulations you just learned how to lead the song from the inside out by hillsong with just you and an acoustic guitar hey if you didn't grab the 25 advanced guitar chords which some of them i think are in this song but you'll see them again in a pdf form that you can use and you can substitute a g that you would play like this you know everybody plays a g like this you could play it like this you could play it like this you could play it like this you'll learn that in the PDF. So make sure to click the link in the description below to get that for free. But other than that, thanks so much for joining me today. Until I see you next time, keep leading worship well.